you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you'd sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave, and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Comic Convos. Comic oh Convos, episode 15. We've made it so we've far. Made it so oh, far. My goodness. my goodness. Thank you, everybody, for sh coming out. Thank you. Thank Seriously. You. We got a couple likes here. Thank you very much, everyone. Howie. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. So we're, we're starting, here. Oh, we're starting off with a great everything, really. Like, there's great news. There's great <sighs> stuff in the comics. There's great stuff coming out next week. Hey, Literally. what's up, Susie? Love, Howie. Thanks for what's coming up? in. Talking. Like we said, we always love to talk to our our viewers and, you know, fellow fans of all the great things that come out of the comic book industry. Yeah, first off, we got a couple things to show here. Um, I think Axel had... He went to, what was it, Starfest this weekend? Starfest, yeah, which is a man. local Denver, local Denver. Such, you know. Con. And here we got a, uh, by Sem Designs, and they've actually asked for a shout out. They've also got a YouTube channel. What's uh, the I'll name of the, to... the artist? So the artist's name, I'll have to grab my handy bag of cards, etc. Because there was a ton this of artists It's a really here. nice piece, though, guys. It, Look is at a, this. it is a great piece, and I want to give proper credit where it's this. So let's see. If it's in here, haha, -ha, there we go. She also made these, and these are actually going to be prizes for you to give away later in the okay, cast. Okay, right on. Because I'm not going to be able to take them with me, so I won't be able to enjoy them. Unfortunately, they're limited edition runs, so she said I won't be able to get them more. But, Shanna Mora, I'm sorry if I sped it, she, uh, the one woman studio, the wearer of many hats, will try to give her a uh, shout out to the comments drawing, everyone. I wonder if we can even hit her. Uh, and then she's on Facebook as well at S-E-M Designs, Sam Designs. Uh, you can find her on Twitter at Mora uh, underscore Shanna, shannamora.wixsite.com. Hey, everybody. What's up? Dino? And Shannamora at Gmail. Let's see. I wonder if I can... Hello, everyone. Oh, my goodness. What's up, Kamal? Sim Design. Kamal, what's up, man? Hey, Jordan. How you doing? Is it Sim Design or Sim Designs? Sim Designs. It looks like it might be that one there. I don't know. I don't want to hit with the wrong one. Because that's... Hmm. It's Sim Designs on this one, so maybe... Did, did I have that, to capitalize them, or maybe it's not it has to be the first one? Guys, I, let me just tell you, ah, tonight is going designs. to be a great cast. I mean, we're going to talk a lot about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Thank like, you. think about it. The critics are already anticipating for it to be probably the best movie of the summer. Um, there are already people who are cracking up, laughing so much. Um, hey, thanks for coming so, out, yeah. Felicia. Yep, thank you everybody for coming yeah, out. There's so much great stuff I said. And so if you didn't get a chance, one more time I'll show this before we move on to go more Guardian stuff and less showy stuff. We have a great uh, piece here from Shanna Mora and Stem Designs called the Floppy Ear Brigade. It's actually titled on the bottom and signed. Oh, and it's wow. Stitch, Lilo, and, and Toothless. Pikachu, looks like. And they're all in pajamas basically of each other. Pikachu's dressed as Toothless, Toothless is dressed as Stitch, 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 Stitch is dressed as Pikachu. It's nice. very, very cute. And this is actually a limited run too. Hey there, her, Patty. So good happy, to see you. Super happy oh to get goodness. him in here. Uh, check her out. Sim Designs. It's awesome. And oh, also their YouTube is the Gung Ho Network. Gung Dash Ho Network. So, check them out, guys. Now, another Sim thing designs. I picked up, and I'm going to show it to you this time, not because it's a cool thing I picked up. We'll try to space those out so we don't flood it no, I'm and we saying. talk more about guardians it's supposed to be about guardians also thanks you for everybody like you said felicia kamal Susie, uh, and, and right now. Thank you guys. yeah thank you guys so much for coming in but i want to show you one of our giveaway prizes for today or maybe the only person this is a print given to us by sernia frank and he also has a ton of <laughs> stuff i also have to show these off later for her but frank Frankie Cerna, 
Frank, he actually has a ton of, even his advertisements are wow. amazingly illustrated. Check it out, guys. Check him out. He has a website. Frankie Serna. Yep, and that's F-R-A-N-K-I-E-S-E-R-N-A.com. You can also uh, find him under Fra- Art of Frankie Serna, I think, on Facebook. But this is a print he gave to me to give to you guys. So thank him for this. This really yeah. isn't me. This Let's is Frankie, thank Frankie. Uh, in a print this of guy's... Rocket. So this is a Rocket print that we're giving away to one lucky a uh, person who comments, likes, or shares, you know, hey, still, thank you, Patty, and everybody for being in. And uh, yeah, it is a pretty awesome prank, mm-hmm. guys. I'll sh- also give you a, just a quick look at some of his other art. Is this is like one of his ten, fifteen dollar prints? He actually had a canvas of this. I wish I could have Gosh. afforded it, but he had a canvas of this carnage, which is also amazing. He's just an amazing artist. I actually think I might get this guy to do my tattoo of Spider Man. Yeah, you have to, man. I might have. This to. guy He's- is awesome. Look at this, guys. This I mean, it's beautiful. It is amazing. I'm, I'm hoping the shine wow. isn't given. You know, the it's the non credit it deserves because it deserves so That's much. That's literally yeah, so thanks. good. I'm gonna tag him in the comments as well, guys. And like I said, thank him again. We're gonna be giving this away and check out his art. Get some prints. They're so affordable too. Like I said, like it was 15 like 15 bucks. That's not 15 bad. 15 bucks man. For, for like this. A, what awesome is this like a 13 card. by eight or nine? Like something like that. That, that is, is huge. And these are signed. Tall. These are signed wow, also. So if you you know these will probably have some value. Catch them at cons. He'll probably be at one of you guys' local cons. Like catch him there. Oh, I'm yeah, sure I'm he'll sure. be there. You know, and he's definitely around. I think he might also be a local thing. So hopefully, uh, oh good. Oh, yeah, Denver Comic Con too. Thank you again for the rocket print. <sighs> Guys, we are giving away. I can't tell you I'm excited enough. Also, well. there's like other stuff coming up too, like Call of Duty is World War II coming up, which people are, of course, babbling on and on about. Oh, jeez, um, so much craziness. It's got to be a twenty by twelve at least. <sighs> yeah, wow. It Kamal, might be. It yeah, might I be. Mean, yeah, you know. Wow. It's oh, it's yeah, a great print, sure. and it's I gotta tell print. you that we we are we couldn't be happier that he gave it to us to give away to you guys, and we gotta thank him so much. Hit up his page. Give him a like. Give him a some. some give him sur- some love, y'all. Yeah, give yeah. No, love. we're trying to show you know, everyone share and this, stuff, and that's gonna be a lot of the point of this cast too is to share love about you know the local scene. Cause oh, absolutely. Cause I'm I'm not gonna be here next week, guys. He's not gonna be a local here, guys. I'm gonna be in New York. I'm I had a job opportunity to come up. I'm gonna have to go out to New York for a while and then maybe Tennessee. And so nice. m- for a little bit of the foreseeable future, maybe a week or two, it might just be Leo here doing the cast and I'll just chime in either on the comments or maybe on a call or something. Yeah. We'll eventually try to gonna try to figure out another streaming thing. We might have to change the time of the podcast. I know. No I'm worries, sad, Susie. We'll be we'll be we'll, back we'll to the We'll still be here in strong. Also. We wanna be here every week at the time and I I'll obviously still be making memes and all kinds of stuff. All right, come on, get good down to see with you, the man. get downs. I gotta go eat. Yep, yeah, have a good one, come on. Uh, so now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty of what I think this real cast is all about. Guardians, yeah. Dude. I mean, Guardians of the Galaxy. Volume 2. Oh my god. Volume gosh. 2. Let's not forget at the end of the first Guardians of the Galaxy, he opens his present and gets the tape. Yeah, the tape, which is, which is theoretically, you know, Volume mm-hmm. 2 soundtrack, which yep. is already shaping up. I mean, Marvel has done a really good job, even since the first Iron Man, in appropriating the correct music. They have. And whatever That's price they have to great, pay, you know what I mean? Great old school music. Oh. I mean, they, and whoever's doing their music got, selection, they are woo, on top. So on I mean, point. Thank you so much again, Susie, for the, the love. Thanks, Susie. Yep, and all my gaming friends are on right now, but unfortunately, this is the time I've set for this. Nice. Uh, oh, man, there's so much great Guardian stuff. And even in the comic book universe and the movie universe, like we're seeing this total like all around love for guardians there is everywhere everywhere i mean dude there are facebook stickers that are guardians right now there actually advertisements. Oh, man, i got so much Small craziness stuff that are guardians where like, was wow. the rest of i got this one. where was my other print i should have more another guardians one um no i had a, a teenage mutant ninja squirrels print what yeah that's awesome I gotta see if my brother might actually pick it upstairs or if I maybe that is awesome. left it somewhere. Zol but... Saldana let slip the second Avengers name. Oh, what was it? Yeah, what was that? What? I didn't I didn't know he let that slip. Maybe he's <laughs> just buffing it though, you never know. Oh man, so much good stuff. My friends are really in there. Uh so much good stuff like with the guardians like i mean not even just guardians bro you also got spider-man you also got I mean, wonder it's, it's so these things much that are just all clashing in the summertime you got one every well month. then right now even in the like like you said in the comic book universe you know marvel has been like off and on but marvel just rebooted the x-men they've just hit their second chapters which mm-hmm. is 
the, there's the Runaways coming, New Mutants. Like, there are a lot of things that are on the way, man. I feel like Guardians Galaxy 2 is going to be the number one movie of 17. Ooh, it Ooh, might be. It might be. To it as Gauntlets. Contender. Ooh, that might be the Infinity Gauntlets, maybe then. Infinity War and then the Infinity Gauntlets. Gauntlets, yeah. That would be That'd pretty be good. Sweet. Love the X-Men. We, we are, Groot. are Groot. Yes, we are. Ah, uh, we are Groot. And I love wish X-Men. We had stuff to do. But, like, the thing about Guardians that I love that's even more than just the fact that, you know, it's great movie, great story, great characters, great mm -hmm. everything, basically, from most of that. It also addresses the issues of like expanding the Marvel universe out in the cosmos. Yeah, absolutely. And even more to that, like even to some more obscure characters like we saw at the end of the Guardians, if you didn't stay for the post credit scenes, you get a little flash of Cosmo, mm -hmm. the dog. The dog. And mm -hmm. then Howard the Duck. Yep. Which Which is like, whoa, where yeah, are they these are going cool. with that? Well, Cosmo's great because Cosmo is like traditional mm -hmm. Guardians lore. lore. Especially revolving space, nowhere like, and all stuff. that. Like he's right where he's supposed to be. Frankie, thank you so much again. Thanks like you said, we'll out, be giving you a shout out more uh, as often as we can. And you know, we love to support Lord Lord and thank you for the print again. It was so nice. We'll show it one more time for the people who don't know the prize tonight is this print of uh, Rocket Raccoon, Rocket one of Raccoon. our favorite uh bio engineered life forms technically that's what people forget about now that susie howard <laughs> she finally saw logan oh nice disappointed weren't you oh man howard the duck it's like logan's just sad there's nothing you can do yeah about there's that. just you know it's just a sad tale but Guardians is the complete opposite, oh, guys. Like it's they've been flip very point. happy. Like, I mean, like, there's wow. still a lot of stuff. I mean, they're yeah, dark. They, they do oh, well, they're dark very, things, but, but they're the very lighthearted. They also have the most death body counts in any movie. Period. Eighty six thousand or something. Oh yeah, like, because they like destroy, destroy like the Nova Corps whole like in fleet. Yeah, whatever. which is ridiculous. So, summer, yeah, summer. just apparently. Like, I don't want to talk about it, poor Susie. Destroyed. We won't talk about it. The holocom got destroyed in the movie, guys. Oh. It resulted in the death of eighty six thousand people. So this is the most in any movie. And that's the thing. That's not even counted. It's like, <laughs> okay, we have some of the civilians that got killed on the planet. All right, and then there's some exceptions. Like the the thing is, all those characters were like depicted as individual characters. For example, like in Watchmen, when Ozymandias drops his yeah, whatever, he definitely. kills like millions or something like there's always those theoretical and unseen numbers mm. the thing about the nova core was you saw, <laughs> you saw the nova core yeah, it was die. Actually even if you didn't see every nova core member die the destruction of the nova core was complete insane amounts of death yeah 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 it was a lot but despite that it's very lighthearted very like overall like Comedic, save the, yeah, save save the world, world save the universe we Save are the cheerleader. guardians. Yeah. But at the same time, they're like a dysfunctional family. Oh, just I mean, like they, say they have the problems, you know, and, and they, you know, they very much are. They in are. this new yeah. one, they're going to even add more unstable elements like Yondu and uh, Nebula, Nebula, who yeah, are like, definitely crazy. They're like shaking up Coke bottles, man. Like, I mean, Basically, they're definitely I mean, on the cray cray side. It just, it just reminds me of the scene from one where Jax, you know, they're, it's Nebula and uh, Gamora fighting, and it's just like, you don't talk to my family. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you, even you, Green Horn, you are my family. Okay, enough of that. I mean, uh, totally dysfunctional. But that's what makes them great is that despite being dysfunctional, they come they together. They still come together for one purpose, to you know, save the galaxy. It's like, why do you want to save the galaxy? I mean, everything about that movie was just great. Oh, amazing. You dude. can't deny how awesome Guardians man, is. Man, but Peter's father, man. That's a question right now. We don't know, What's though. Going on? The thing is, we got to wait till we see him. We got to re always remember we are not in, in the same universe exactly we're in a we're different not. universe which actually chris pratt did confirm that that is the truth right so it's like uh he is written to be his father in this version now whether or not people like that or not we will have to see but i think it's an interesting twist to the usual you know right it's definitely different i think it is definitely different and the great thing about it being a little different than these other stories and being like these even heroes that aren't heroes, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're doing the right thing, but not always for the right reasons. Like exactly, you know, it's like why Sometimes are we doing this originally? Was absolutely just, poor reasons. Oh, of course. Like, all right, let's get the money and the bounty and take them in. Take them in, and then which, go on. But yeah, bounty hunters and this, and we're not gonna get into the, like the morality of bounty hunters over here. We're just saying. But okay. that brought them together. That was <laughs> what brought them together. You know, that right. is what made all this happen. So it had to be for a great purpose.
See, Batista already seems more comfortable in the role as there's footage of father saying his dad. I swear I saw it saying he's his dad. Yeah, he is. Who, Batista? Wait, I'm lost. No, not Batista. Well, no, he was saying Batista already seems more comfortable. In the oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, there is the footage of his father saying, I'm your dad or whatever. Mm -hmm. But that's like, you know, all right, he could be lying. First of all, that could be a super But it's, fucking it's been confirmed. It is, one but, of the cast members, but, but, but then we don't know mm -hmm. anything else about the story. Exactly. Too. Although we have talked about, like, the change from Ego Maybe. to Living Planet. A Ray, a wild Ray Ray appears. Thank you for appearing. It's hilarious. Yep. Especially they all evolved with each other through the movie. It's true, they all evolved. It continued to evolve. And here's the thing, like I said, we talk about it here mm -hmm. that the that there's a difference between the movie that's cool about the new the new movie also is Mantis is coming in yes and so we gotta wonder how this from might the comics. right and the other thing about what well, what a lot of mainstream movie fans might know not know so sorry this one's for you that in the comic books the Guardians don't get together of not their like own that. free yeah, will they're basically coerced and like tricked it's by like, Mantis yeah. and Peter Quill to, to basically all work together and then Peter forms a team out of those people and right like, I'm just never gonna let the galaxy get this bad again right I'm not so gonna I let feel the galaxy obligated get to do this right which it's, it's a different purpose in the movie but it still works yeah I was like a, it's a different universe like you said but it worked right it works for this it crowd, does and especially. it's cool and it's like you said you have to take into account the fact that we're talking about a comic book movie so it has mm -hmm. to have the essential plot lines and devices of a movie to make a successful, successful movie or they're just not going to make it that's business then you have to incorporate nova and all mm -hmm. that backstory and you it would just be Star so much more Lord, the great and i yes. thought i can't remember if i saw the tweet there and i'm still not 100 percent if it's 100 percent true tweet but what i think it was the the line of chris pratt said that reading the the first draft of the script for guardians of the galaxy 2 helped him come to grips with the death of his father Wow, I've I've seen that somewhere. And I'm not sure it's that's insane. Are you serious? I think I've seen it somewhere, but I'm not sure it's verified. Yeah. So it's like one of those memes yeah, that go flying that around that I don't want to be like super attributable no, and no if you, if you see that, so Welcome, if anyone's Ray, heard this anything, is where life that. begins, where you hear epic combos. Oh combo God, combo combos, combos family. family. Thank you, yeah. Tiffany. Come and come Everyone, and thank you, everybody else. I know that we don't always give a shout out to anyone who's not on the thing, but if you're watching and not commenting, we still want to say thank you very much. Of course, yeah, thank you. Because you. You, you are just as important to us. We have nine people right now, and we're loving it, guys. Oh, it's we're loving awesome. the conversation. And what do you guys think? Like, yeah, let us know. What are you most excited about with Guardians? Like, what's the big, the best thing about the next Guardians movie? Like, what are you looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to all this amazing humor. Now oh, humor is, and I think, another, and another honestly, great movie. And, and I and I always pull it back to like the Josh Whedon intro to this universe, mm -hmm. way back in the day. That the the com the formula is still there. The comedy is really the underlying glue that puts together puts all these together all you of know these different when things. it when it's too serious. How do you break it up? Well, you do make a joke. Well, when it's not serious enough, how do you make break it up? Well, you make a dark joke. <laughs> like, right. You, know, you, know, you do something like that, and it's very... Comic-Con Comic -Con isn't, isn't until September, September here. here. That's okay. I'm going to miss our Comic-Con. Yeah. It's in June? July? June. Very June. Of June. Uh, I'm a month off, and I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to be back by that time. Oh, Definitely. Man. I'm going to be gone for a while, probably. So I will, I will miss Colorado quite a bit and many things about it. But it'll be fun to explore. The oh, places. yeah. And I mean, seeing New York is going to be amazing. Yeah. And Absolutely. honestly, one of the greatest things about being in New York is I'm going to get early access to all the movie stuff. All the, everything comes out Stop, early. Stop, man. Yeah, Stop the bragging. Bro. I'm going to get all the manga stuff earlier. I'm going to get all of the all of the comic stuff Guys, earlier. I'm moving into New York as well. Let's just put that up yeah, the it's like now. I want to leave now. <laughs> I have to have yeah, the movie premiere. I, premieres, I really wish I was going to stay longer so I could go to New York Comic Con, but I'm yeah. not going to be oh, there that long. Oh, no. But I might make it to Atlanta Comic Con. Because when is New York's? Uh, in October, I believe. Someone was oh. telling me. What about Comic Con in New York? Yeah, it's in October. October. Believe, so, but but Atlanta Comic Con, I think, is sometime in like September, October, and I will be like two hours out of Atlanta. So maybe I'll go to that one. Yeah, give it a shot, man. It's like it'll be quite a bit of a driving, but it might be worth it, especially because you know it'll be nice. Exactly. The other, like I said, the other thing is. All the movie stuff early, that's gonna be awesome. I mean, especially in New York, you gotta ah, figure out some great I'm so theaters. jealous, man. Dude, it's it is it's so hard over. to get into that here and I've I've gotten my way into it where I see them early, but man, it's just you see them like maybe even a week early in New York. Oh shoot, I mean, and on the East Coast weeks. I remember my friend uh Ro Michael, you all seen 
even technology even comes out there like two months early or a month oh. early sometimes. It's gotten a lot better in Sheesh. recent years, uh-huh. but what it is is because they get a lot of stuff from foreign countries first being on the coast, and mm-hmm. it's more easily accessible. They don't, there's no merchandiser yet here until someone on the coast decides to become that merchandiser or is someone in the Midwest yeah, decides, decides to become. Right. So I have a question for everyone. Atlanta Comic Con would be great. What do you guys think? Do we have our summer movie as Guardians of the Galaxy, Wonder Woman, or Amazing, or excuse me, Spider Man Homecoming? Oh, that's so. What hard. are the three? Or between the I, three, I wanted which to... one do you think has the biggest chance of being yeah. a summer movie? Yep. Tell us which I... one is the one. You know. Also, to tell Tiffany, I'm sorry you can't go to Comic Con. Yeah, sorry, side, Tiffany. Uh, I, I'm sorry, it's small, but every like the small the Starfest that I went to and went hey, for this every, was small, even small, and stuff even small is content. Amazing. Remember to look out for local talent too. Come, mm-hmm. Sometimes you miss it, like trying to look for the big names, and you miss gems that are right around you. For I'm example, so jealous that you get to go to Atlanta Comic Con. Dude, so look what look good. what I got! I had to show these off. Oh, jeez, what are those? Oh man! All right, so I was trying to show the camera these, but these are another one of Shannon Morris. That I purchased, and I purchased them for prizes, and they are the lantern rings. What? Yep, and they are all the Flash colors, is blue. and they are uh, bookmarks. And you get a different one for each one, so you get, for example, you have Sinestro as a white lantern, because he was a white lantern. You get two different uh, red lanterns. You get uh, one of, one I can't, of the orange fiends which is so cool, because there's only a couple of them. Mm-hmm. You get the, uh, I think that's a yellow lantern... Scarecrow, Scarecrow yo. you got a Guy Gardner Green Lantern, a Flash Blue Flash Lantern. Blue man, I don't recognize this character. I don't know if you the do. The black, the either of these actually. I'm not. If he, they're like some kind of like Native American tribe. Tribe, like this the one actually purple lanterns. Right. But these are all amazing. And like I said again, Shannon Mora at some designs. Maybe Sarah Spider Man. Spider Man says Sarah Guardians or Spider Man. That's a hard choice. Wonder Woman says Susie. Yep. I oh, have man. to go Guardians, yeah, despite same. the fact that I, I love Spider Man. I think they gave too many favorite spoilers. hero, by the way. Yeah, but yeah, they're just too too deep into it, and there's not even that much of heavy promotion like there is for Guardians, man. Like Guardians is everywhere right now. Oh. Everywhere you look, I mean, there's a new five second trailer every everywhere time I look. You, you know what I mean? Like, you know? and everyone's all there's a new spoiler or a new fake spoiler, which I think they have a lot to do with too. Where they're like, oh, here's let's just. Some right, yeah, there was a spoiler where they were like at the campfire and Drax is like eating, and they're like, "Dude, dude, that's not in the movie." Mm-hmm. It's like a little made up, made spoiler for that, right for the for thing. the movie, which is awesome. which is awesome, by the way. What about Side. free comic book day? I'm definitely going yep. to Barry's. Co- I yes. will try to get there, and I gotta so see if I can do it. It's though. on Saturday. Between both, probably Spider Man says size. Spider Man, Spider Man says there, of course. As night counting, GG two is a summer movie. Uh, if you well, well, May. It's kind of uh, like the it's the it's bridge. It's a bridge, yeah. I yeah, guess. it's like the bridge Sophie the would summer. always choose Wonder Woman. Oh wow, Wonder Woman is is a great choice, but I still think she just doesn't stand up to Guardians. And the real problem being, like I said, I think the tone also. Like Guardians is going into a second successful movie that we already with think that is going... same great tone. Right. I mean, people were already saying it's oh, the reviews fabulous. are already amazing. Yeah, they're yeah. already great. Which is you? You can tell like critics are known for not liking stuff. Yeah, that's their job. Oh, of course, summer, they have to summer not is like it. June, lol. Ah, uh, yeah. yes, yeah. it's the beginning of summer and the spring, so it's like in there. It's 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 close. <laughs> Let's see what else. We got you, Susie. Yeah. Oh man, I guess I'll show a couple more of these. These yeah. are some free prints that you could have picked up at Starfest by Frankie Serena. Absolutely free. Absolutely free, guys. Look at this little Batman. So these will probably this be awesome. some more prizes. Uh, just because, oh, I don't know, man. These are all signed and amazing. I want to keep them. Right. Look at the Deadpool. There's the Spider-Man. Oh, but it's the Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot about this one. <laughs> Beast. So you guys got to check out Frankie and, you know, give him some love again. Oh, this is man. A Venom. One? Wow. And like I said, even his, uh, his cards are like, we'll show some of these later, but. So even his cards are amazing. Even the card holder wow. was freaking illustrated, just, man. Yeah, he was going talented. crazy. He, he is. He's very talented, too, wow. like I said. I, I have a very hard time thinking. Frankie, you are great, man. Holy crap. Seriously. Uh, thanks for the love, by the way. Uh, thanks for the love. Wow. Yeah, thank everybody for the love, actually. You know, Guardians we, definitely come on. Baby Groot is cute. Have. 
Uh, who? Let's see. Look, we got look. We got Guardians. Definitely. Come on, Baby Groot is cute. <laughs> Baby, Groot Baby Groot is, is too awesome. much. He like, really is. What? What about? Oh, some yeah. of those summers. Oh uh, yeah, dude. Oh, thanks oh, for so lot, much, somebody. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you so much. There's so much going on that it's like <sighs> totally waiting for Guardians. Yeah, you know, Guardians looks like it's gonna be amazing. Like. It just it looks to be almost flawless. Like it's just that good Marvel formula that they've thrown into a lot of their movies lately. Like they've thrown in that really good splash of comedy, like you said, that pieces everything together like glue. It makes everything kind of bridge and come together. Like it really, really makes it a decent watch. You know what I mean? It's and, and, and um, Doctor Strange did the same. They did. They. Like, they I mean, they've done every single Iron one. Man. Like even like, the darkest yeah. movies, like Logan. Still have that and granted those aren't the Mar MCU universe, but they're very much uh, using that same well, Deadpool. De well, Deadpool Super though, heavy humor, focused. right? But Deadpool is a comedic uh, character. character in general. Yeah. Also, well, they my messed e. him up first. Well, I mean, they did, uh, and that was so they messed up everything about that movie, basically. Yeah, <sighs> everything. <laughs> but that's okay. You it's know, okay. sometimes they get the they make the mistake. Sometimes and that's you make right. bad movies and then you learn from it. Uh, thank you for like I said, everyone who's in. Uh, and tell us again, like, what do you guys want to see more of? Do we want after this at Guardians Three? Does it depend do, on how well? Yeah, this it, it's kind of just like you, we have to almost like follow Avengers: Infinity War, see what happens there. Oh God, see what happens so in much next happen. movie. Do we have Black Panther like, coming up? Yeah, yeah. we've got we Miss Marvel. Or, excuse me, Captain Marvel. It's like. They might even pop up in one of those movies. You never know. And it's like, when is enough enough? Right. Yeah, I understand exactly where you're coming from now. After volume two, would you want a volume three? Right. What, what is you guys' is like rule on Deadpool three? Deadpool heart. Yeah, well, what makes a trilogy? Because it's kind of I mean? like, I think Deadpool goes into two, and then he goes into X-Force. Is what I think happens. He like he might even get a three, but he would do X Force before, before a three, three, which is nice to incorporate them in another setting. Right, so then they come they back for Deadpool characters. three, yeah, exactly. which there should be in Deadpool two, obviously. So yeah. then they'll be in it's their third out movie in June twenty eighteen. Yeah. June. Oh god, it's so far away, but so close. Also, so close, close. You think about it, it's less than it, not less. It's only about a year out, and the, that you have to think about the time that these movies are now getting cranked out, and because they realize. Cranked. Oh, it's I so mean, fast. The superhero industry is huge right now. Depends on how much money they make and if they do well, which I think they will do well. Yeah, because they keep on they 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 make adjustments adjustments every movie exactly. It's like you know Doctor Strange had magic in the Marvel unit. We had never seen that before. Oh yeah, in the Marvel movies and, and even the the, the same uh, Guardians is like we never left Earth. Earth, yeah, not That's once. A different. I mean, we we went to Thor, but that was like. As guardian, ma you know, magic. It's all slash... these different realms incorporated, man. Right. They're going to and all so these different, different ideas. And, and and like I said, we even get somewhat the tones of difference of first magnitude. You know, we see the Avengers protect mm -hmm. New York, uh, Thor protects Asgard, and you know, Strange protects the the dimension, and, and Guardians, and Guardians protects the galaxy. Or the, you know, which Strange should have done less, but <laughs> yeah. on the scale of that. But sorry, I missed I missed the scale. Powerpuff Girls are my favorite superheroes. They are pretty That's awesome. Uh, awesome. <laughs> enough of is enough when they screw it all up. <laughs> you keep making them. <laughs> yeah, it's like I that that reminds me of the Jason slash Fast and Furious uh method, which is just keep making. Just it keep on it going. Money. Yeah, squeeze out the dime as long as it goes. Just like I That's want it. Want. <laughs> Besides. Besides Guardians, though, we, we also, you know, we do have Spider-Man Homecoming coming up. Oh. And we also have Wonder Woman coming. Dude. That's kind of like the summer bridge there as we have that. But we also got some pretty good TV shows coming up as well. We got Gotham that just came back oh. with a smashing new episode. I mean. I heard the Riddle. Yeah, the Riddler Riddlers. is basically what I'm hearing yeah. around the Amazing. board on this. Yeah, but, we got to get you. Get you watching that, man. Well, I'm, I'm just not caught up on season three yet. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm like a couple episodes behind. I'm always like, oh, uh, man. And Gotham's a good series. I mean, it's one it of is. the best on right now. Oh, definitely. Um, the thing being that always people forget is not a superhero show. It's, it's very much about detectives, detectives cops, and uh, supervillains. Yeah. 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 And it is. Yeah. But this season is actually going to heavily focus on Bruce, which is good. 
Yeah, it it's like to. it's about time that we get him patting well, up Well, we want Batman. him to start at least getting there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Finally, Ed became who he was destined to be. Oh, What's up, Rachel? Gotham was so good. And I Blanche. like that, but at the same time, with him becoming the, like, the full Riddler, even for me, like, af- after he really started, like, killing people in That's season, when it kind of just like, started. Well, it's because it, it, was, it was different for me. Like, all right, even the way you felt about him, but before that, you've always felt like he's this traumatically destined, destined to, be, to be, evil. be evil and you're person. always somewhat yeah. rooting for him to be like no enigma get away with it don't d-, you know like don't you don't fuck. want him to be bad but he flips I mean, and, and, like, and he has to yeah. and and i think that the way that as long as they pull it forward with him being the villain he needs to be and for all of that build up to have made sense he's been a great villain to me he so has far. but but, but even but even to this point like i said he's still building towards the riddler Very or true. was until recently hey. Yeah, I would say until well, you got to get through season three. You got right. finished, right? Yeah, I've got most. Up, I think the last, like, I got a couple episodes past the past Red the Hood second game. Half. Okay, pa- oh wow, yeah, yeah. So I'm not even past the second half. Wow, man, Red Hood Gang. Mm-hmm. That's about a season back. Bro, no, not not that Red Hood. Remember when oh, they come oh, back? Yeah, they come back. Okay, right, all right, yeah. So like the original no, Red not the original Red Hood. No, the return of the Red Hood Gang with the uh, Butch. Oh, okay. Uh, which, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you yeah, know which I'm talking about there, which is like, <laughs> like oh six my. episodes in or seven. I'm like, whoa, man. It's like you're like way back. Arrow as well. Savitar will be next week, so get caught up. Oh, my God. And yeah, Flash wow. came back this week. Savitar, Arrow, I am Flash? so far. You know what? I should They're do that. They're like five episodes. I should do aren't that. They? I should do that tonight. I'm just going to try to download like all Judson, of this. Judson, what's up, man? The problem is there's nowhere easy to watch them, guys. Like, you have to go to these websites. Or whatever. It's just really it's hard. So it's so bad. Everything. It's so bad all around. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get you Arrow thing. Season 3 if you need that. I can send it to you. I'm, I can get through Arrow because they have all of Arrow mostly on. On Hulu, I think. Oh, they actually have Netflix. Arrow. They have all of it, The dude. problem, The problem more being... There's a go-off Flash. Line, yeah, Netflix too has the go yeah, off. Yeah, it's not, yeah. Hulu, I'm really enjoying a lot of different stuff. I really should get some stuff yeah, prepared. Flash, for I trip. heard Flash was really, really epic. I also heard Arrow was Netflix. man. Did you see the Arrow trailer? Did you see the Arrow trailer? It was really good. Actually, I was like, this is heart pumping Arrow from seasons one through three, man. Oh, like it was that a good return, looking. huh? A return, a return to, to the, the classics, the classic Arrow, which is like I said, uh, not that like, much felicity. A lot of action. Well, what's because we're so been hoping to see them either in Gotham Sirens, was it, or Birds of Prey? Birds of Prey is what I was hoping they would go with that TV series. Like, I think they're actually going to make one that's connected to the whole Arrowverse, if I'm not mistaken. It, sh- it should be all around great. We're hoping it'll be amazing. You know, all of these things we got Batwoman and Nightwing oh, yeah, and, and, and Birds and, of, or, excuse me, Gotham City Sirens. We got all kinds of stuff coming from DC. Too much Batverse, though. We talked about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I was just gonna. I was actually just gonna bring that up. Mm-hmm. How much Batman are we gonna get? Like, to be honest, Batman, the the whole Bat family just is the pendulum of the fucking universe now. DC is basically just Batman. To be honest with you, with Superman featuring Superman. Oh yeah, we're, half of it. we're featuring Superman. Then you know, with appearances of the Justice, Justice League, League and a little bit of Wonder Woman every here and there. And 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 what people who try to argue that don't realize the pure amount of comic books coming out for the Bat family. Batgirl has a comic book. Nightwing, Nightwing has, a has comic one. Book. Red, Red Robin, Robin has, has a one. Comic. Uh, Red Hood has one. Now. Batman has three. Yeah. All Star Batman, Detective Comics, and then regular, regular Batman. Batman as well. Now, yep. now Superman Holy gets crap. Action Comics and, and Superman. Superman. That's it. Then you get uh, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman in, in Trinity. Trinity. Oh, you also get you also get a little bit of Supes and Batman and uh, Super Sons. You do, but that's they're like obviously featuring. Not the like you said, yeah, that is not featuring, his own but thing. But they're still in. It's still part right. of there. And now yeah. we now we can also mention we have New Superman, Supergirl, and. Oh, new Superman's dope. Is is there an All Star or is there like isn't there like All Star Superman, Superman might or is that, that's the new all that's new, new Superman. Superman all new Superman okay and then you do might have All Star okay maybe I'm is Chinese Superman still going yes yeah I love the original Batman Adam West yes we get to see Future Flash this week Suze real nice bright wow, red Google Future Flash. oh man dude maybe oh, I can't do anything wow, tonight jump I'm so that. busy guys hopefully when I'm in New York I'll eventually get time to catch up on stuff chinese superman is still going and i'm not caught up by far but it's it was actually supposed to really be pretty good. good didn't he meet up with real superman yeah. at one point too? at one point he meets up with them i think um, i got that far yeah dude like there's a lot of I, I will say though you know yeah it's a lot of bad verse but 
each each comic uh, company has their own problems, and I look over and enjoy the stories that I enjoy. Oh, like, well, it's not like you said; it's not necessary promise. Just we want to see less. A little Alliance. bit less, yeah. We we want to see some more developed of other characters, not just the Batman. Well, and you know, I just broke into really heavily into Valiant. Really? Yeah. So that? I've I've gotten halfway through Exo Man of War, Whoa. which really heavily they did pretty good crossovers too in their 2012 reboot runs. I think those mm-hmm. are reboot runs anyway. They probably are. And I don't think Valiant's only seven years or however many year old, five years old. I think they're older than that. Hmm. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty. In comics, what do you think of Marvel doing a big U-turn in comics? We'll see how that goes with their legacy runs, etc. The legacy is going to be cool. Seems cool, but it's like, geez, how much it's going to be keep squeezing out the same stuff. Right? They will, but it's going to be a nice throwback because we're going to see characters we haven't seen, like Captain Marvel. Although I've even expressed my Captain Marvel would be great, but even though uh... I've expressed my distaste for that because one, he's one of the longest standing deaths, deaths in, in, in history, for so they're comics. bringing him back now. Oh, right, man. And yes, he's been res- mini resurrected before, but no long lasting res- like resurrection. It, yeah, it hasn't things. been like a um, whole story. And the real, like I said, the whole, the whole thing about Marvel was he was like one of the most relatable deaths in comic books history. We want we want more of that. The other thing is he's so powerful, but at the same time, compared now with like characters like Sentry and Blue Marvel and things, yeah. someone has made the point it's that like, he'd wow. really just be another overpowered yeah, character. Yeah, just another one, just someone else to throw in the mix. I love how they are developing Marvel and DC Universe and cinema because it recreates the beauty in the comic world. It does very much. Not only do you have legacy. People calling it Marvel Rebirth. Uh, I guess I don't want them to do too much. I would, I would be I okay really with like a lot of the changes they I, make. I'm just... The new, the new Doom changes to be a hero? Oh my god, you got to yeah, read Yeah, okay, of yeah, that's shit. pretty dope, actually. Yeah, I've been reading the whole Iron Man. The infamous Iron yeah, Man? Infamous oh, Iron Man. I, like, oh. I just caught up yeah, again. it's really good. Dude, dude the last one is really like, good, they're actually. even... The super villains meet up and they're like, this is the biggest problem we've ever had. It's like, what are you talking about? Doom knows us. Right? <laughs> Doom knows where we live. Not metaphoric or not. This is the biggest problem. Like, like They're literally like, forget S.H.I.E.L.D., forget the Avengers. Forget all somebody this. that has been on the inside with in, all of them. Well, he's like, they, he knows all of our weaknesses. Yep. He knows all of our holdings, our private lives, Absolutely. our real names. Things like They all worked together, man. They were loving infamous. Yep, Izzy, love it. The, the infamous Iron Man's going great. Even the like well, the, I won't. I wouldn't say maybe a reboot on that, but just like some of these big events, like Secret Empire. It's like, oh, here we go. With Hydra. All right, Hydra Cap is the one big one, and that's basically the problem with that is not the newness; it's the retcon shit. The retcon. Well, we, the, retcon is the problem. Never good, here's the guys. problem with Marvel's with Marvel right now is they retcon all of their characters to get. Up, well, by the way, and it, then they bring in new versions. versions. They fucked up. All right, so here's the thing. they fucked up the mutants with M Day, and then yeah. AVX, and then exactly. now IVX. Then they fucked up Thor. Not no offense to new Thor. Yeah, no, no, but no. Just original no. Thor got like we can screwed. have another or something or another plot line. Like we don't have. Well, to they're going to do screw. a War Thor now, which is hopefully. Oh, but man. that was the thing. couldn't <laughs> we have gotten the other Ultimate Hammer be the new Thor? But that was prior to. Secret Wars. But that's what I'm saying is like my whole thing is like they pretty much took these characters, threw them away, and then brought some new ones in and were like, well, you guys are in a crazier situation now just because we want these new characters to move into your roles. You could have had them be other versions of those characters. Or in the Ultimate Universe, there are all kinds of universes that Marvel can play with, but they just want to mess with their main continuum. Like, oh, well, Steve Rogers is Hydro Cap now, by the way. And all these other changes. I mean, Thor... You know, now Iron Man is about to get phased well, out. Well, the original Iron Man was, you know, we we talked about that Hulk. I mean, Hulk. Wolverine. Yep. The problem Wolverine, isn't huge. isn't the new characters; it's the getting rid of getting rid and of decimating the, the old characters. We've talked about that. I love how terrible you guys are together. Axel is super awkward and pretends to know it all, and Leo is a fake nerd, trying so hard to fit in as a blur and going with whatever anyone says. Nice, sweet. <laughs> That annoy me so much if I read comics. <laughs> <laughs> it it would trust me if all if they just spent all day shitting on your uh, favorite heroes like it's, I, like they said the whole att- attribution for Hydra Cap was all right it's like Hail Hydra is the same as like Batman saying I killed my, killed parents. my parents oh and then Peter just being like fuck I, responsibility yeah, fuck responsibility <laughs> or some of the versions he's like I killed Uncle uh. Ben. It's like, uh, this, these are just dumb. Oh, it is. 
there's it's and the other problem being like then they're trying to make it they even went even hardcore and doubled down on it being like no this was always uh you gotta catch up on seek in the first episode of secret Emp- or the first yeah because i'm not caught secret up on Empire. the whole hydra cat thing oh, at right. all um i just really need to get you guys are great despite what people say <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's all right sorry I mean, people are always going to disagree and that's fine yeah we, we all really. have our opinions yep um, but yeah, I haven't got too far in the Secret War. I'm actually trying to really wrap up the Ultimate Universe. Like, I just I actually just got finished catching up on Super. Dude, Sun. there's so much. Of, it's yeah. just like ah, and I then just DC. Been yeah, to, DC's well, they're out doing the button right now. They're, they're just. I think they just released Flash 21 or 22, which is the oh, second wow, part yeah, of the so button. I'm not even caught up on that. I'm about. I'm. I think I'm at like eight. There's an impossible bro. amount of stuff to catch. Yeah, up. Like I said, so I just much. bridged. I just started bridging really heavily into Valiant, and I'm like, uh, great. Now here's another five, six titles. That Which, have just popped out. And is that the thing? Is there an oversaturation? Yeah, thank you, Susie. Thank you. Yeah, is we that like an oversaturate? Is there an oversaturation, bro? I like, don't th- I don't think so. I think people always I forget that you can also I think people forget you can focus on your own storylines, your own characters, whatever comics you want. Right. You, you don't, don't have, have to, to even be on... tuned into the main story if you really don't want to. And no, you can I know people I I mean that that is the thing. Deadpool readers for years, like enjoy deadpool stuff but not regular stuff because deadpool stuff is like definitely not very, very traditional com- oh not traditional like at, all. at all it's very like off off center or whatever the off putting off whatever can you ever really catch up though no like you're never gonna there's, there's all right it's like you're one person and there's how many thousands or millions of people creating content you could never catch up even if you pick like you'd have You'd have to, I mean, you'd have to literally dedicate your life to reading comics if you wanted to catch up with every single thing. Yeah, I think it's okay with this many comics. It gives you a lot to choose exactly. from. Exactly. So you have your own variety. You right. can and choose said, your own line. Yeah, and if you like something, lines. then you can pick that or not. So going back to Guardians, what do you think of all the new Guardians titles that have been coming out? Because there have been Ooh, a huge spike. Well, yeah. If we talk about the... Ginormous one, dude. I, I'm really liking this main like 2015 line, though. I mean, I believe this is the one that's... Guardians, yeah. yeah Guardians, Guardians was, with and the, Spider-Man is featured. This, this is the one, one you can always tell us because they have glowy root, root, root yeah. which is like because oh. he got cosmic power or something. And, then yeah, and Star-Lord, Star-Lord looks a little bit updated. They, I mean, so this is run... not the most up-to-date one because it's Kitty Pride as Star-Lord now. But, um... This is one of the Guardians of the Galaxy, I think, from the 2015, but there's, like, a more up-to-date one. That right, Fae there's and, so many. Um, Fae and... Is that okay. a legitimate option? I think it's a good... <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was a legitimate option. Right. Oh, man, there's so much... What else do we really have? Oh, man, Cloak and Dagger. Oh, wow, with the new trailer. Cloak and Dagger, man. I mean, that looks amazing. And it I got read a... their origin story and how everything... And, you know, it's obviously... Not the exact same, but the way that they gain their powers, at least about how the trailer references it, looks awesome to me. It looks spectacular. Here's the thing: even after if, watching it all, I would, and I want to see it come through because the message behind Cloak and Dagger was always a good message of be careful of drugs and pharmaceuticals, and because the whole thing about Cloak and Dagger wasn't even oh they took drugs. Like no, it was the trace of it was originally rooted in like this pharmaceutical company. Who is like developing? Experimenting on yeah, people and kidnap them. And... It looks kind of yeah. cheesy. It's a bit cheesy. Look great. I'm glad Michael is leaving Guardians though. Don't like his writing. I mean, he's one of those guys. Uh, the problem with him is I think he's not the current Guardians feel is not on that par. At least the main Guardians line can't be. They have all the other Guardians like Guardians of Infinity, uh, Rocket and Groot. Yeah, and and the, I haven't caught up on it. In the Rocket oh, Raccoon. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, Rocket Raccoon Solo. Man, There's his origin in the comics is crazy different. Yeah. Holy crap. I mean, Rocket was... Groot's whole, like, planet and all the people, the species <laughs> on his planet are, like, actually super freaking smart. And their their language is limited to I am Groot, but it's actually an actual language. Yeah, there's, they like, are, intonations are and, like, crazy yeah, it's subtleties like, apparently and apparently how they move their, you know, mouth or whatever while they say that I am Groot, like, the different pronunciations and ways they say it yeah. translates into different languages. You know, I don't know why that reminds mm-hmm. me of a, a, a... It's a dumb show, but Ugly Americans. Do you remember that show? Oh, yeah. And they had the chicken people who had, like... <laughs> and the, their, their word besides <laughs> I am Groot was... Suck my balls. 
<laughs> oh shit, dude, that's a throwback. Oh my god, I remember people saying that in like middle school. And shit. Holy crap! Never knew anyone was supposed, supposed to be, to be British, British Rocket. Rocket. He wasn't, but you know. Yeah, and so like uh, continuing on about Groot's people is like Rocket's people, where the people were like cleaning up and stuff. They're the janitors, maintenance people, and the shrubs treating them like crap. They were like they were racist and prejudiced against them, except for Groot. He was like the most loving of his kind. And, and they shunned him for that. Yeah, and this is the new Rocket. So people who don't know, the original one was slightly different from that. And mm-hmm. that Rocket comes from his own world. They they originally... Of like the, a different species. It's or... like this, actually, this world where they had abandoned... Uh, where the, the old... Oh, man, there's such a long oh, story behind it. And they always it. reset because, these, too. And then they didn't use them for like 20 years or something before they get them. I am Groot. Never knew... <laughs> but the original Rocket story is, like, he is from these race of animals that were, like, cybernetically experimented on by oh. this group or whatever, and then the group... This is the even more original one, like, uh, further back, is oh, it? Or is uh, this a recent one? That one, the, the one I'm talking about is hugely old, like, freaking... Yeah, there was, was one like, of his... Oh, they even talk about it, like, he ha- he originally had a, uh, a love interest, like a wife or something. Rocket oh, Raccoon's interesting. wife, I think, or something, or is, like... Yeah, and I and I always have to look it up. It's like, yeah, he, he's original in from originally from Marvel premiere number seven, which was like where he got this weird or this what is the origin from? Yeah, which is the original. Well, I'm not sure that's actually where they show it, but mm. Lila, yeah, the Toy War. Oh man, there's so much. Wow, dude, there, I didn't even know about all that. Yeah, Rocket, and then a new volume. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to remember all of they this stuff. They make references to that origin, then. That, that probably the does, movie. and they might be interrelated. The thing about it being, you know, it's all so hard to remember because, you know, first of all, I wasn't even alive when that origin, you know, is the origin right. story. Right. <laughs> A lot so of these I've origin read stories back. We weren't. Oh, yeah. But the great part about that was, like, there was this whole backstory to all these characters, and then now they're trying to integrate more, and I kind of appreciate that, especially for characters like Rocket. Yeah, who did exactly. Not always people have this super knowledge. I, I of where appreciate Rocket them came from. just kind of cleaning them up a little bit, you know, giving them a more modern origin. But I'm down for that. but the difference between that being and you know some of the other ones being, you don't change the core concept of their character yeah, by doing so. Exactly. Hopefully, I mean, it's like you don't change the whole character. You don't want to right, do but that's but... the and then like I said, we were discussing that's what the problem has been with a lot of Marvel stuff has been that cha- core changing well it's just even like those new versions though like it's like they dramatically change the characters in the sense well, like of said, race gender and i know they're trying I mean, to appeal the, to that even, more i mean those like crowd, i said the, but, the, the, the uh, new characters i don't have such a problem with no not at all but, but why the do they have characters? to destroy the old characters like man? i said so then you take thor and instead of being this the the thor we originally loved who was yes and understanding why he's got but was or, really a carefree no thor is serious as fuck now like thor is yeah, unworthy he's just and so P- even peter parker is less gruff. jokey and yep. more gruff and cynical because of hanging out with deadpool um but like the thing about that too is like changing the geez, characters way too could, much yeah hopefully. exactly they could have just kept those characters and incorporated these other new characters some right because there's way. tons of new characters that i love for example the new miss marvel kamala khan oh yeah the new, the i new, love the uh, ultimate america Spider-Man. chavez right now oh Holy america crap. chavez was great um uh blue marvel is one of my favorite new characters and he only came out a couple years yeah, ago he's very recent and is he first ultimates is that one is no first? he no. originally comes around in 2010 or so okay or maybe so 2012 recent. he's actually either right so after that's the first right time i read century. about him was or maybe he was ultimates he he shows up in his like this powerhouse love her yes she's oh man they're basically remaking the characters but it's even like I said, if they were just remaking them, something would be different. But that's a lot of the problem. New but then you don't have to had. destroy the old characters. Right, like, like I said, Ooh. we've gotten rid of the original Wolverine. We've gotten rid of the we original died Hulk. died in the we've worst a... way, by the way. Oh, yeah, terrible way. Same Jeez. with the Hulk was pretty bad. Yeah. Like, not the actual way of death, but just the circumstances. Why not create bad. all new characters and leave the originals alone? Exactly. Right, Susie, right. Like, new interesting saying. characters. Like, oh, God, Hydra. We were... Like I said, we could rehash this issue again and again and again. Oh, we'll, let's oh. not rehash it. Instead, we'll you know we'll think more about like what could we possibly fix this with. And I mean, Batman Beyond went to the point of like saying, "Oh, Bruce is old now, so he's going to train a new Batman." 
And that worked for that series. Right, because it wasn't a change. It was something new. Yeah. It, it was a farther, and that's why when we line. do the future lines, we don't care about that. When we do the ultimate universe stuff and the different universe stuff, we don't care about that. But when in main, when in mainline continuity, oh no, Hydra Cap, yuck. they do, <laughs> they do make money, Justin. And the, the yeah. problem is, we're not just about making money, but like time honored traditions work for a reason. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not like oh, you know, they don't. You know, you're always. It's not to say you can't find something better or new or whatever, but. You know, you don't break it if it ain't, or you don't fix it if it ain't broke. You know what right. I mean? You just you add new shit in and try and improve it. it. It just seems like they threw these characters in a wastebasket. Oh yeah, and then, and sometimes took a chop off to them, and uh, you know, some of them are cool. Like like I said, the, the I don't like what they did to the original Thor, but the new Thor is actually very interesting. The the new oh, aspects Jane of the Foster? hammer, yeah, yeah, the new yeah. one, the all new. I really Thor. like her Thor actually. But the difference being that then they also took away Thor's hammer and his arm, by the way. They took away Thor Thor's arm, by the way. I just didn't do know. not like what they did to Thor, man. Like, I like the... I kind of like seeing this aspect of him for a bit, but, like, geez, dramatically, like, this is, what, five years now? When did Original Sin come out? 2010? Oh, yeah. 2010 or 2012, I think. 2012? 2012, they just five smashed years. Them for the sake of rebuilding them. That's true. Do you sometimes wish they just stop remaking them rather than ruining them again and again for money? Sometimes. I kind of, well, I, I I almost foresee like a whole, um, uh, what was that series right after Amazing Spider-Man ended with Doc Ock as Spider-Man? Superior, Superior Spider-Man. Spider-Man. I almost think it's kind of like that in a more extended sense that it's like that character has to work their way back into the character that they once were, or at least try well, to live a better life. And I didn't what know. They and, are th- now. and this is another reason I was asking if you had caught up on Infinite Iron Man is they just showed the first reappearance of Reed Richards. Really? Yes. Since Secret what? Wars, this is the first time Reed has showed up since Secret Wars. Which was now almost a year and a half by or something. He, what was he doing? Well, I mean, we won't want to spoil. I don't. Well, he didn't do anything. They just showed up. Basically, I can even not spoil. And just like, oh, he's talking to Ben. And it's like literally just like, hey, Ben, long time no see. And it's like, really? You go missing what? for however many years prior to Secret Wars. They were already in like space. Blah blah. Yeah, blah. they were already captured. And now the they're like universe. gone. Like just freaking gone. They've. N- no one has any clue what has happened to Fantastic, except for like Doom, specifically Doom, mm-hmm. uh, and then like two people I think have knowledge of the four Secret Wars, mm-hmm. and Doom is one of them. I think Doom and maybe Doctor Strange. Jeez, sure. it's very limited. Amount. Very limited. It's crazy. Superior, which is completely unnecessary. I agree with Judson. For instance, it was said that the reason they kept the title of the Avengers is the title of the comic had raised the first Avengers was probably made a lot. Of- That's true. Yeah. Eight months after Secret Wars, yeah. Yeah, even though he technically wasn't the first Avenger. Right. Yeah, well. It's just good branding. It is. Andrew, and he was yeah. Leader. What's up, Andrew? He was, but you, only bro. after, like you said, the Cap wasn't in the Avengers until after, after they went they after were. the Hulk. Because mm-hmm. what was the first squad? It was uh, Ant-Man, Ant- um, Wasp, Wasp uh, Thor. Yep. Wasn't the original. Um, I won't say the Hulk, Hulk was, right? Yeah, yeah, that was it. That might be it. Those five. Those five. Yeah. Because Ant Man, Wasp, Thor, Hulk, and who else? Ant Man, Wasp, and Iron Man. Iron Man. Yep. Iron Man. Iron Man. Hulk, Wasp. Wasp. I don't know why that took us so long. Yeah, it did. Like Thor. We always take too long. Iron Man and Ant Man. And that was a good little team, man. I mean, I read a couple of those little classic comics. They were pretty actually good. Really and good. then once they got Cap, it was a great... Uh, it was a good round out, I thought. It was good a good round out. I thought it was pretty great, man. All around great. I mean, I think the Avengers movies themselves are great, too. I mean, that's a round, good rounded little team they have. They are. Man. It's Even with the additions of Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, Scarlet Witch which, is, which is a reference to Cap's Avengers. Now well, there's a totally overrated character. I mean, well, here's the thing about adding like Scarlet Witch and Vision. Like you now add even a whole other power trade to the to the Avengers. Yes, they really have magic before, or right? Things like well, uh, whatever the power. yeah, Scarlet yeah, and her. That the, the well, that's very magic. undefined. That's in magic, isn't it? I thought it they, was like reminiscent of uh, so, Strange's magic. Uh, it's hard to say, especially in 
like movie universe versus yeah we just don't know yeah There's it's not comics yet. universe she's affects probabilities and chaos magic or something mm-hmm. and that like she gets buffed during the m day thing by victor von doom or something apparently wow. well, yeah they went and retconned well, that well doom can do magic so the original secret wars is pretty good that i have not read oh it's the one where hulk does lifts up the mountain and doom oh what be on there. yeah man you gotta read it it's awesome that's one of the original Reality badasses is the Beyonder. Magic. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy, man. Scarlet Witch, though. Whew. She got to some unbelievable levels of magic. Hex magic, yeah. The problem is they're always messing around with her in the different mediums. Yeah, so you just ne- you don't really know, you know. Because I remember she specifically... Might even pop up in X-Men, who knows? <sighs> <laughs> just like they did with Quicksilver, and now there's all these rumors about him coming back in Avengers. Oh my we'll god, I'm see. sure there's no confirm yet. But I, man, I mean, what? On, man. They never stayed like that. They just made that really bad. Comics, chaos, magic, and probability. Movie was fed by fear, huh? Mm. That's good to know. But like I said, it was it was all around like a, just a different kind of thing with her like she was always like this weird outlier she wasn't quite strange she wasn't she was always like unpredictable she was too, kind of there too. she she was usually not considered very powerful mm-hmm. like to a very limited extent except for like m day and certain other times M-Day. now she's yeah. actually people now are always like oh she's been powered down she she's been powered down from m day but she's still super powerful like she helps strange all the time with really uh yeah, not probably as powerful as Strange, but what about the announcement of Glass? Oh yeah, Glass. yeah, dude. Um, it's the third in the M Night Shyamalan. Oh, the uh, shadows. Yeah, because the first the split is actually a continuation from uh, fuck, what's the name of that movie? Um, with Bruce Willis and Sam Jackson. Oh it's god. It's an M Night Shyamalan. I know. Movie. I just can't remember. Uh, she was a telekinetic and fear made her stronger. I mean, ah, okay. Quick question. Have you read the book Missing You Metropolis? I have not. I Unbreakable. Am not. That was the name of that movie. Ah, yeah. yeah. So oh. it's like a con- so split is a continuation, and we had no idea until one of the scenes in the movie. That's crazy. I had no idea at least. A me. lot of people, I don't like, know if people speculated, but I had no clue. Oh, that's always split. I wasn't really on top of that one, but when he said what he said in the movie, I was like, holy crap. Um. What else do we have coming up, man? I mean, we also have on the video game into things. We have Call of Duty World War Two coming up, which uh, it's not a Call of Duty, but at the same time, it's just another different version of the Call of Duty landscape. Well, that's right. all we've we've damn. Yeah, but and, and but I had I had a um a conversation with a couple guys today. By the way, if any of you guys made it out, Anthony, Jesse, good to see you guys. If any of you guys made it out, we had a discussion on Call of Duty today about how it would actually be a little bit cooler if they just explored different landscapes. Like, if they explored, like, places like Italy, they explored China, Brazil, other landscapes. Like, what's going on with this? They're God. stuck in, like, Russia, Europe, and the U.S. So, I'm seeing what it's uh, from Izzy. is God Country is a must-read. I don't know if you checked that one out. And then Mi Potro and Superheroes, I absolutely love it for the uh, other one she suggested, which was Missing Metropolis. Hmm. I'll have to check that out. Agreed. Thanks for the recommendation. Yep, thank you so much. Oh, and also, Izzy, oh, we've got, I don't know, maybe we'll have our recommendations later, I'm sure, but for now, let's see, what what other games did I see coming out? Uh, it's kind of like, the thing about games is like, it's almost like the subject on the gamer, you know, whatever kind of games you play. is Right, which is why radar. you try to cover certain ones, but even certain different things, so like, I know there were some changes going on in current games, like uh, Heroes of the Storm just had a massive update. Oh, nice! Where they're doing um, like giveaways of more champion packs. Uh, they're giving away. They're changing up style of play a little bit, I think, hmm. and the way it works. And so they're just doing this whole revamp in addition, thanks to the Overwatch boost they've had. Mm-hmm. In New COD, I mean, what's that? Well, I don't know. Probably missed it because they don't give us a lot of room to see all these comments. Oh God. Something in the new COD. It's like you'll have to give us a another shout on that for Sai. So you yeah, know Sai, who... let us know what you were talking about there in the new COD. Unfortunately, we don't uh, can only see so far back about on the WoW all day long. <laughs> yeah, I just never could get into WoW. 
WoW was more about... The, I just have trouble doing the concurrent, consistent pay. Like, even the yearly Xbox fees are yeah. like... <laughs> yeah. Yep, I feel you, man. Even the, the PlayStation 5s are just like, oh, just come out of that account. So that's why I always do the yearly ones because then I don't think about it. Then it feels like a one time. It's like, just okay, yeah, one blow, it. right. But I do the monthly, man. Oh, man, I have to do yearly or else I feel like... I saw at least you can't fly in the new COD. You can't fly. Um, In campaign mode, there's um no auto regen. Which is so, really cool because yeah, that's challenge. real life. It's yeah. an added challenge. Like, it's like you're getting blasted at. Like, you're going to die if you don't get out of the way. And, so yeah, I'm and sure there'll be health packs, but... Right, it's gonna be them. it's gonna be a diff, definitely a new con, uh. Concept. That's the main thing that ruined it. Eh, but the thing about it is, size like I'm kind of sick of Call of Duty going in like the jet boots and like the whole like jet packs yeah. and stuff. Leave that to Halo, man. Like, like the, that's what Halo is for. The, and that's they they, they have. kept a lot from different games yeah, after they, a while, and it was okay. Mass but it was Effect, like, like that's for that's what Mass Effect and Halo and games like that are for. I mean, even different other games that are in the future setting like Fallout 3 but we don't need that man we don't need that in Call of Duty I don't think yeah. explore like a different war like these are supposed to be like war stories explore a different war Korean War Vietnam go on to something different I mean it, maybe it doesn't even have to be US I get it that there's like this whole like well it might offend people their games already do so yeah it's like why well, like games affect people Come like on, i was guys. i was wondering like in some a lot of the call of duties they actually don't even mention anything about italy and oh, that was God. a huge part of world war ii and there's a couple games that take place in world war ii it's like Come no on, mention of italy? italy at all there was or? a lot of i mean they they it's so funny that they, they always like pick the germans don't get me wrong it's because you know nazis and the germans etc mm -hmm. but what's up elijah Good to see you, man. That's the main thing that ruined it, huh? What was that, Cy? Uh, the, oh, the no flying. Yeah. Recently got back into Black Ops 2 since it became backwards compatible. Nice, man. Yeah, you know, I just haven't been able to really get down into Call of Duty. Like, oh. It's been That's, tough. It's just been a tough, it's been a tough hitter for me. I didn't even get Future Warfare or whatnot. I haven't bought the last, probably the last two or three games. Mm -hmm. The latest Black Ops, I think, was the one I got. Three, I think. Yeah. Like I, even for me, like, I, I took a break a long time ago, and Maybe it's two. partially because I switched to PC gaming. So, a lot of PC gaming, you know, you're going to go with stuff like Battlefield and, you know, Battlefront and mm -hmm. stuff, as opposed to COD, because you have more options and more abilities, although, you know, we got screwed a little bit on the Battlefront. Yeah, it happens, man. No worries. The, the campaign, campaign should be like the Alex Hunter story in FIFA. <laughs> Infinite Warfare was decent. I did hear Infinite Warfare was cool, but it was only because it added those Halo things that man, were like I rips. Just can't man. I, I actually did a share play for Infinite Warfare, and I just I was like, mm, leave this to Halo stuff. Yep. This is Call of Duty, like in the wall jump, the wall running and stuff. I'm like, uh, those mechanics have just never really been Call of Duty friendly. They just haven't. I said it was interesting. Yeah, I stopped buying COD six years ago. Yeah, nice. Whenever, great, whenever Black Ops Two came out, <laughs> great. That was about when I stopped. Was around Black Ops Two. It's the last one I really remember buying. I played some of the others with people, but I did not uh, buy. Yeah. I just like I said, I'd rather play Gears of War. I'd rather play Halo. Halo. Oh I'd rather goodness. play Persona. I'd rather. I'm surprised play... I don't have a one. I mean, geez, I want Halo. I want. Gears of War. Trust like, me, the only geez. reason I have a mm, Xbox is Gears, Gears and Halo and shit, and yeah. I'd have more if I were, you know, had more money to spend. If 360 not have... broke down, man. Dude, oh. I I doubt for you mine. Mine's probably pretty shit. I don't even know where it's oh, at. That's all good, brother. Black Ops Two was the last one I bought, but I still play Black Ops One a lot. Best one in my opinion. My best good. one was Modern Warfare Two. I thought that was the best one they. They Destiny were, and 2, Warfare yes, I want to get Destiny 2. Destiny Unfortunately, 2. I'm going to awesome. be in New York and uh, probably one of these. I, maybe I'll buy a console when, console when I'm out there with my extra money. Dude, But I, I left, I'm left. i leaving mine here to my friend to make content for me. Nice. Uh, one, of, one of my teams. That's Izzy's awesome. actually going to come by after the cast, too, and pick up the rig. I'd rather play Gears of War as well, Axel. Yeah, Gears of War is just great. I man. love Gears. Every... Gears is my series, And the stories man. are amazing, dude. dude the, well, the thing about this is Gears is, Gears is for campaign. Is like multiplayer is a shotgun. It's cool, fest. but like, but yeah, I it's mean, a shotgun fest. I got. I, I shit you I'll not. The pro that. play. It's I, all I shotguns. Mean, I was gonna, you know. No, I don't shit on it. That. I don't. I don't. I don't deny the 
shortcomings, it's my jam. I don't deny the shortcomings of the game. Like, there's definitely not... It's not perfect in any way. No. But the campaign is what you play for, and then you can play for Horde Mode, <gasps> which was originally... Is... Oh. People always forget that Horde Mode originates, maybe not originally as a concept, but in, the, but, in the, but in the first slash uh, third-person shooter mode, they were the original Horde Mode. Like, there was nobody else doing it before Taking then. out all those monsters, man. Go through it's every like, single survive, level. Survive, man. Survive. <laughs> Better get that saw out. <laughs> yeah, but as far as, like, those kinds of games, like, they were the first. And then uh, zombies came out, and then everybody else got their horde mode. They branched and... off of that. Oh, yeah. yeah. The original Gears, though, or no, it was Gears 2 where they introduced horde mode. I remember because now I have all the Gears on my Jeez, Xbox man, account or whatever. That's awesome. It's pretty good. I only finished two, maybe three gears I haven't touched and since multiplayer was shocking. Well, yeah, the problem about multiplayer in gears is it was even harder than single player because people just walk on... around popping you with shotties, sneaking up with you with saws, and it just, it was terrible to me. Yeah, it, I, I was like, the multiplayer, multiplayer is just hard no, to get into. It's, the multiplayer or, is so or, tough and high, and it's almost all around, like every game they fuck that up and make the shotguns too strong. They can't help themselves. I don't know why. It's so close and then pop. Well, it's the way they design OGs of Horde Mode, yes. But it wasn't for multiplayer board. It was almost always for campaign and Horde Mode was Mm -hmm. why you played that. And that was where you even showed off. Like, I never bragged about the Pro Circuit. Like, I don't know why they have a Pro Circuit. It's really all shotguns. But the what we used to brag about on like the the Xbox Live community and shit was how high could you get in Horde, Horde man? Did yeah, you get dude. how high on insane? It's like, oh man, I beat level fifty on insane. Well, you were a badass. Wow, I, those are the old days, man. Sure, I, remember I remember Gears of War one on my Xbox three sixty. Oh, or excuse me, on my Xbox. Oh, See, in wow. those, those original days, like I said, I remember. The great part about that, though, is they had such an original and compelling storyline. Like, there was a lot of interactive, non-fighting things, even, that were amazing. The That's what Mass section. Effect started out as. And I actually heard that Andromeda is not that bad. I'm no, starting to hear I mean, a lot more and I want to, pl- like I said, the I problem is you want to play everything, but you don't have the time to fully enjoy sometimes again. Yeah, that you want to fully enjoy like I did Fallout 4. Well, like I said, what's it? Uh, my, my friend wants to play Breath of the Wild, but he knows that he, if he doesn't spend... Hundred hours on it, he's not gonna get it. No, man. And uh, okay, so apparently, I don't know if anybody knows in Colorado, um, there's a couple Best Buys putting out uh, switches tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. I might not be able to get one, but it's pricey, it's, man. It's still what four well, or five. The time they're putting it out, I'll be at work. <sighs> oh yeah, man. I'm gonna. I'm definitely ready to buy a switch, but I don't think I'll be able to beat the crowd. It's so tough, man. They're yeah, just like, just why hard. you would, why would you li- limit stock? Is on a me. console like that? Well, is it, well if you would, cash. then you would. Why not raise price? Like, if you're gonna limit, it, you gotta make your money somehow. You know what I mean? Like, they're increase production, like man. Like, in the GameCube and the Wii, never had this long of a pause ever. Yeah, Overwatch is pretty addictive if you like playing it. Uh, I do love Overwatch. 300. 300 bucks for it, yeah. Yeah, Which 300 is that bad. bad. Well, I thought it was like 300 and then you had to buy an extra memory chip because it only has the limited amount of internal storage. Hold on, it, what? Oh, yeah, you gotta... Like, you don't have to, but if you want to get another game, it's like this. It's like, oh, you know, you gotta buy an ex- internal storage chip uh, and a freaking... So I understand uh, the ranking system for PlayStation and I've had it for like seven years. Yeah, I mean... Ranking... You just are what you are, really. That's why the only real so rank many. is like PC master. I mean, where's my? I ha- it's somewhere in my bag somewhere, but it's my glorious PC gaming master race. Yeah, man. and then I have a little, and then like on the left corner, there's a little dirty console peasant. <laughs> I'm just wow. Kidding. So I'm just you kidding. prefer PC? <laughs> Got it. I'm just kidding, but it's so it's funny. Only Thirty-two gigabytes, but PC. If you Jesus. Oh jeez! It's only thirty two. I games? told you it's ridiculous. You gotta buy more storage for it. Um, no way! So well, PS4 like I... is a terabyte. The I have a two terabyte Xbox. <laughs> Xbox <Xbone> One. <laughs> oh know, my I'm... god! It's only thirty two gigs. And I, I, I think you... the system takes four. Yeah, yeah. So you literally, if you want Not more than one gigabytes. game, <laughs> yeah, you, like they sell and they sell it right next to it. It's like, oh, here's the extra storage you're gonna need. <laughs> that's why it's 300 they're stripping it down oh yeah well they're... what's the extra storage though oh i'm sure it's not that bad it's probably less than 100 but it's and it'll be like five well, the, games Nintendo just... game. mm. the thing is is like i think it's the way the other thing is like they're the type of storage is like a chip storage or something or something i don't even know burn 
like I like I said, it's they're 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 making a lot of bad moves as far as product packaging and and distribution and shoot the production line is just terrible. Like right. going back to the center of it, it's like the production line is just not up to par with the demand. Right. Like they're like way behind and this is what happened with Pokemon Go. This is what happened with their Nintendo NES Classic. Which they now took off the market, by the way. It's officially gone. They're not going to make any more NES classics. And it's like, what the fuck? And why just going to do it to make another? Why charge more even like for it? Because they were charging 120 what? 120 then. I mean, it's, it was 60 bucks. It's yeah, like, okay, it's charge like, 80 or 100 or something. But like, but, Well, that's just as a business mind thing. I'm like, what are you possibly getting it out of doing these out of limited pulling runs? It away. Yeah. Like the Later on, those people will have get money out of the limited runs. Or maybe if you do a re-release, you might make oh, some money. Oh, it's just SD cards? Mario oh, Kart easy. 8 tomorrow. Not yeah, that that's why a lot of them are coming out in Best Buys. I mean that's Apparently true about the SD cards, Izzy. But how big do they make SD cards now? Um, pretty big, man. Yeah. I mean, at least if for like a console like this, you can get up to what, like a hundred, Izzy? Like a hundred, even hundred gigabytes is like that's not so bad. Eager though, I, I understand. But I'm just thinking about how many gigabytes you know I already spend per game. Maybe Nintendo has limited their uh, I'm space. It up real quick, highest <laughs> SD card, but. Like I said, I'm I'm more concerned about like the the fact that it's not even included. Five hundred and twelve gigs, wow. That's, that's not bad actually. That's pretty big. Yeah, that's actually And what is it? Impressive. It's probably not that expensive. Sixty bucks. Oh yeah, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Can buy a terabyte. Um, oh. I'm sure you can find them. Yeah. I mean, would you need that for Nintendo though? No, probably not. I don't know. That do they release that many games? Exactly. <laughs> like, there's a whole ton of other problems like with Nintendo's right now, that I, I like. I love Nintendo's classic. What's up, games Jasmine? Good the, to see the, you. The whole thing. Hi, Jazz. But the whole thing is like, all right, why then? Why are you limiting yourself as a company? Like, right. It's like, why it's, not fully develop? Like, you don't have to even pander that hard to the crowd to get what you need for this. Stuff. I just, I want to just take pitchforks and yeah. torches. To the production line, man. It's just like Nintendo has not prepared their company well enough to be able to handle the demand that they're at right now. Think about it. We've had peaks in Nintendo from Pokemon Go, from NES Classic. Um, NES Classic, by the way, just came and went. That was it. That was like, done. It was yeah, like it was... Christmas. It was like, boom. Yep. Gone. And they pulled right out and to, to get the Switch out, only to have the same exact issue a third time. Like I said, the and like I said, there was a huge clamor. I think personally, if the Pokemon Go hadn't had such server issues, it would have stayed okay. And if they incorporated new projects, like different, well, like, they changed. They, they took too long to start releasing new Rolling Pokemon. Out, new Pokemon. They took too long. Like I said, no to trades, really get the servers. no Trading, battles, no battles. Like that was not. It was like, oh, and I understand. They're like, well, then no one's gonna buy Pokemon. Everyone's still gonna buy Pokemon. It's just another. Everyone marketing buys every maybe? new Pokemon you release. You know what I mean? No one's. Yeah, side thinks it's a I think they strategy. felt since we didn't do good, they had low hopes for this. I think that the problem is they're doing the exact same things for the Wii. It's like make changes if you're going to hope for. Like, the definition of insanity is doing the same, same thing, thing over, over and over and, over and over. expecting different results. Yeah, That's, uh, Pokemon Go burned out, started burning out a month after it came out. I was burned out a couple weeks because I couldn't get the damn server. Like, I wanted to play. We were going out at night and shit, and then I couldn't get the server. You had to get the server up. Like, like you I'm had at to work get trying to get, to get it up. Freaking shit. I'm like, oh, man. Yeah, you had, to, you had to be lucky to get it up, man. Like, <laughs> excuse us, folks, for the people that are dirty minded. But you had to be lucky to get the server, like, actually working. Oh, yeah, to like, get it, connected and make a good connection, you'd had to be, like, in a good, decent good spot, area. Yeah, you had to make sure there weren't oh, too many man, other people. Don't on walk off and then have it crash on you. You won't see it for two or three hours. I love Pokemon. And I, like, I'll always love Pokemon. But, like, Pokemon Go just disappointed me on those aspects. No battling, no trading. No uh, new Pokemon, not soon enough. No new mechanics. Like, you don't run into a Pokemon and get to, like, weaken it a little bit. Like, Yeah, like, it was just like, up, oh, throw a ball. Up. Uh, uh, like, there were interesting things, too. You had the lures and this, but there was I'm not enough. I'm still rocking Pokemon Go, though. Sigh. Hey, you, nice, you man. keep you doing keep it, on doing it. Keep that dedication yeah, up. Keep, because... I know people, but it's just not widespread like it should like be. It should be. And like, it this has gotten so better. Yeah. And legendaries. They had the birds, and then that was it. And well, and even like, all right, 
Like, I understand they were doing the whole world thing of, like, you get certain Pokemon this way and that. that, And and it was true. Like, it was way easier for me when I went to Iowa to get, like, a Bell Sprout. Like, it's so fucking hard for me to find a Bell Sprout here. Yeah, we're Tata and Pidgey Central here, man. Seriously. But but out there, Bell Sprouts and freaking. I went to Florida, man. Poly Worlds. All uh, the water. Sea Kings. Uh. Um, gold I can't wait to see New York. Like I might try it a little bit. Yeah, give it a shot, dude. But we'll see. You know, it's it's we're we're still seeing us. So now S- that the switch is out. Do you think you either Sony or Microsoft are going to right. copy this way? Like Microsoft get a handheld or Sony to bring Vita and PSP back? Uh, they're kind of like going pretty strong right now. It's like if anything, the Nintendo is the weak contender. Yeah, honestly, the Nintendo is trying to catch up with the Switch. Yeah, they're just trying to catch up with PS4. They're, they're, that is their innovation right now, and they're very much trying to cling to that. I think PS4 and Xbox both know that they're doing just fine. They're sailing just fine right now. They're and, just kind of head to head with each other. And even up beyond that, and here's my problem with the Switch, and probably even with some of the things, maybe not as much. People do a lot of the gaming nowadays on mobile, as far as that goes, with their phone. Mm-hmm. As even even if they have these mobile yeah. gaming things, because it's so central to the rest of their stuff. Mm-hmm. And so I wonder if if Nintendo might not eventually get relegated to a fucking phone developing game company because or just do like qu- Sega makes well, software. I just only. hate it, but the the quality of their product and the the their marketing strategies are are even less than some of these phone games sometimes and that's being entirely Super a nintendo Mario fan for my suck too and i love the original like i said i my original console was nintendo you know what I yeah mean? absolutely uh, probably SNES, most people were. uh n64 mm-hmm. and we could go on for hours game yeah, clash royale is a great mobile game I, like i've heard that one all the time there's still a big community you just have to know where to look the problem is there can't be a big community when they don't do online as for Go, yes, Go has some of the community because it's an online-based thing. But in general, Nintendo's really bad about their online-based things. Like the Wii is really bad online. I think even the Switch isn't supposed to have very good online. Oh man, activities. the Wii is terrible online. Mobile phone games make more money than than bitch but bitch, but, and that's partially because their input versus output. How much money you put into a little shit game is not a lot versus how much money and time you put into designing a whole console and then making games compatible with its formatting, etc. I don't know that Super Nintendo is pretty dope, though. It is, like I said, with the advancements of phones and how much phones are going, how long until we do see phones just replace uh, mobile gaming units altogether? You know, I don't... Yeah, when I don't, PSP and... Like, I'm waiting to see... Steam, Steam has a mobile thing. I don't know exactly how good it is, but they're supposed to have, like, a mobile unit to play. Really? I think it just depends on Wi-Fi, though, so that's that big problem. Yeah, and that's the huh. other big problem with the people thing. People like, still play Pokemon Go. I, I knew a few. I just there was a storyline to fall in your tongue like a classic game. game. Nintendo has nothing to do with Pokemon. They just gave the rights to the game developer. Yeah, they yeah, they actually did that's give it true. just an in, to Niantic. They're just like, I mean, that is still dumb on their part. That's still a mistake on oh, their absolutely. part. Oh, absolutely. That's like saying like, me? oh, I I gave it to guy and he messed up. I was like, oh well. Well, Should've here you go. Your, yeah, I thought you were the multi-million dollar game company, isn't this? You're like, yeah, Niantic's the phone game company, but how hard is it really to step from Python and step from regular coding? It can't right. be that hard. It's like, oh man, but... It's... Has nothing to... Yeah, and like, the problem is like, if Pokemon were the only issue, yeah, but Nintendo's real issue is their console base not being interactive enough with, like... Even just like the online community that the the huge, very strong ones that PS4 and Xbox One have just don't transition. Trans- well, because of Nintendo. that, and like they I said, I think that's a lot platform of platform games anymore. They don't. I mean, it's just like how many times can you juice Mario up a different way and slap a different ad on him and be like, I'm uh, yeah, now you're that's, Mario Galaxy. Now you're that's this. true. But like I said, I think it really has to do like they'd still be fine if they had better internet compatibility yeah, better you got that right better online play better like mario party like mario online. kart yeah that mario and mario kart. kart but it but even my friend who was great and probably one of the better mario kart players in the world even had like one of the top times told me there was no point in playing because he could almost never get the internet to work that sucks dude he's, he's like it was just that's bad awful so that's what i want to see nintendo go for is more of the community mm-hmm. online specifically for them like you know they need their own community uh because right now even game developers i don't feel like want to make exclusive new great titles for nintendo 
And I want that. I want Nintendo to be that superpower contender that it should be and was in my childhood. That was the problem. People were thinking Nintendo were in charge and would bring all this cool stuff. Niantic is notorious for being shit and non-responsive. Oh man, we must have a long life too. That's true too with the thing, but like you said, with you gotta then you gotta move to you know who do you pick for your developer? Be more choosy, and maybe develop it yourself at that point. No one said it has to do anything with Nintendo. This comment is referring to when they were discussing Pokemon Go. Ah, uh, but we're all here to discuss, you know, Tiffany. Like, and you know, we're all discussing what we we want to discuss, even with po Pokemon Go. So we'll say the Pokemon Go interactivity. But what Pokemon? What? How do you interact? Is that a game? How do you interact besides fighting the gyms? Exactly, and besides Where's, walking up to a Pokemon and finding it, where is the interaction? Where is the interplayer connectivity? Right. And the better internet, yes, the less data, it's it's gobbling people up with data plans. So man. if we talk about that, and that would be the bigger issue one for people, yeah. Actually, we're just giving out facts. Nice. Nice. Dishing, dishing out the facts. It's good to know. Like I said, I, I know that Niantic was the producer, but like I said, that's like saying... You know, I put it through here. It's like, well, put it through somewhere else. Or you're going to expect bad results for your... It's mm -hmm. like, all right, yeah, that's a good excuse, but not really. Like They just messed it up, man. Like, like Nintendo's be been making bad choices. Like, you know, and especially yeah. if Niantic is a known bad developer and then you chose them. But even if not, like you said, all right, then you develop it, realize that... I mean, like I said, it took me less than two weeks to realize that that, that needed to change. Or that they they weren't going to experience the flow. It rate. was just the same thing over and over and over, and you can't just keep doing the same thing and expect it to get. I said I, I'd love go. to see the number of Pokemon Go players now versus the start and see the de degradation oh, number. Oh man, you, everyone the graph I knew looks like this. It looks like, and then down like a tip. Yep, and then it just kind of don't get stalls. butt hurt. I'm I'm not getting butt hurt on that. I'm just saying, making a point like, you know, that's no excuse for the fact that pokemon go was pretty much in my opinion you know, i'm glad you guys like it pretty shit like as a game it was not very player communicatable exactly uh, there was it no just never interaction. really had a great once, start once you got to the thing it was more about how many uh times could you just put your you know uh pokemon gym. up at the gym yeah it's like how often were you standing there and, and getting, getting new pokemon and like and stuff and it was like that. cool but there's no like interplayer connectivity so how do i battle people how do i they like said well, at that point it becomes another like you said another phone game like you just toss it for the next phone game mm -hmm. when there's nothing unique or interesting nintendo so that was my day. real point let's see if nintendo had his day either retire or get your shit together <laughs> i agreed Susie. they could have done better yeah, I agree with both of you guys. Like, it's just Nintendo is just making bad decisions, like you said, and it, it reflects on their company in the sense that their stuff is worse than it used to be. We used to have these Nintendo making Nintendo all these was great would decisions. have been one of the original pioneers, pioneers. of gaming. Yeah, I mean, uh, a top really contender is. in the thing, and and even now when I think of games, I think of Nintendo. I think of Mario. I think uh, of Link. Sonic even sometimes. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, you think of these flagship Nintendo And, and so that was the thing. It was the other thing is with the Pokemon virtual reality aspect, I think we were expecting more. We wanted more. It was like the same thing about the comic book movies. We, we have this title that's so ingrained into the lives of like how many people now? Millions oh, of people yeah. across it, the it, you globe. Just, you want it to be like Pokemon yellow, blue, and red. Well, you want it to be like, like even yeah, just you like, want it to be like in this more real like version where you can do trades, you can do you know you can walk up to somebody and be like oh let's battle like let's oh yeah on the add street the friends and, list and, and and it would have been so cool because while I was out doing Pokemon Go stuff I saw other people doing Pokemon Go stuff yeah. oh, but yeah. what oh, was no. I gonna come and say like oh you're doing Pokemon Go get that yeah get that well, jiggly. I did make some friends from doing like Pokemon Go which was cool people would you it know was, get in packs and they'd be like I mean, oh the, awesome, but, the 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 like Dragonite said, is over here or whatever you know it's like oh it's over here it's over here right the but then. Here. But then what? Then it was like, okay, exactly. then I never saw that person again because I never had to come back for a dragon. <laughs> but they were always roaming through. You would uh, see that person on their phone. Like, and like oh, the best part person. about it was the, the what were the, uh, the packs where you could call people to you? Oh, yeah. The, or the Pokemon to you, the, the lures. The scents, yeah. The lure scents or whatever. Lure. Those were cool because then you'd pop one of those down and like a ton of people would just show up. An incense. Although yeah, then, and then there was the whole thing about that being dangerous, wasn't there? 
the they were like setting people up at Pokemon oh, Go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Which bad. I'm laughing, but I was like literally down in the hood over here at a stop at like midnight with the homies just sitting around a trying thing. to trying to find it. Yeah, watching yeah. some other dude come up. So right, I was, <laughs> I was in a sketch apartment looking for a Pikachu. Definitely. Duck hunt. I think they appeal Remember to how their amazing Asia it... side of consumers. They may be advanced in technology more. That's where the U.S. is trying to grasp ideas from Asia. I would say for the most part that would be true, except for in culture and media. That's usually not. Yeah. With um, the exception of anime and manga and the things very specific to Japan, uh, the U.S.'s main export is its culture uh, and games, its media, movies, music, music. music. And that's not to say that it did not start in Japan, because it did with very much Pac-Man and you know Absolutely. tons of tons of original ideas and stuff but there. But we we popularized. Yeah, it. when you think of the the only even now the biggest game in the world is League of Legends, and while the biggest consumer base might be in Asia, the that still originates from America. From America, yeah. Uh, and behind that would have been COD, and behind that would have been a million other games developed and produced. In the U.S. and by the U.S., I think that is hard for them making games that will be talking successful. about games, Asian not technology. Gaming culture, that's gaming that's culture. also, I would say, technology too. As Tiffany was talking about technology, that they would be more advanced in technology in the public sector and not the private sector. So they are publicly accessible to more technology, but in our high-end private sector, the technology is still, you know, funded by the trillions and billions of dollars owned by the U.S. All games and everything is the same with Nintendo. Oh, God. I wish that just... Yeah, no. They I mean... do need some more... A couple more flagship series, man. Like, we're just... I'm getting dumb with Mario, guys. Mario. I'm not finished with Link, though. I will say Zelda has just, like, lasted At least they mind. changed it they up. They changed like, it up all the time. The problem is Mario did it along... I don't know. The thing being is, like you said, I get tired of playing mario and link over and over and over, over again and over and over. even when the different it's iterations exhausting. of mario party and mario kart well mario parties are just the same game now all the time to me well they all i mean all the mario parties are the same it's yeah, just like a new updated new version but the same with mario kart I mean, but i mean i feel like, like it was it was different with mario Party. zelda is awesome you should out. learn more about zelda jasmine it's and it's link and zelda tech gotta take nitro out he's harassing you all another epic convo all right. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Susie, Susie. for coming through. Uh, it's it's interesting. Like I love I don't Nintendo. Know about and I playing want... Zelda. Zelda's amazing. I Zelda's, mean, Zelda's literally. Zelda's to be a honest, classic. It's one of my favorite series, by the way. Well, I'm gonna get a ones... Triforce tattoo, a Triforce of Courage. I really like Zelda. Zelda. It it's literally one of my favorite games. Zelda is a very classic, and it's one of the reasons. It's one of the things that made. Nintendo great was this was Zelda even the original Zelda, Zelda Mario Star Fox like you can call out and they even, even the original made a Final Star Fantasy Fox in a while. series was a yeah, was on Nintendo you're very right uh, and even if they weren't developed some of these games by Nintendo oh some of the good. Chrono Trigger holy mm. crap that was a good SNES game yeah Ooh. and there's just a ton of great ones and so we want to see these new games developed on the Nintendo system and for the Nintendo system and to be you know. I want to see more, even more cross-platform games coming to Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what? Why does it seem? It, it just seems almost like they're locked, and it's like Super Smash Bros. Cool. Can we get a more dramatic change though? If we do another Smash Bros., like the U and the Wii version were pretty much the same exact game. I know they're all the same game, but mm, there wasn't that many new characters. The settings. Splatoon. Were I think Splatoon. Is but it's been so underused lately that no one knows I mean, about nobody it. Really, like, is, like is it on Switch what, right now? Is it on? Maybe it is. Is it? Can we know. talk Phoenix Wright? Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright. I have no idea who that is. I guess I'm gonna go with Phoenix Wright. Ah, Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright, Capcom. Wow, wow that's a that's a nice reference. I remember some guy in my class stole my Game Boy and deleted my Pokemon data and gave it back because that's further. I'm still salty. Yep. Wow. Like I said, I I would Elijah consider that. And then Ace Attorney even was a great one, although I'm not sure everyone would have played Ace Attorney. I didn't play Ace Attorney. I played a little bit of Ace Attorney. <laughs> I am good. Um, but no, and that and that's the thing. We there's a lot of flagship things that we do have from Nintendo. And it seems that like they get great. scooched under the rock so much. Right. And the other thing is we're not seeing new titles coming up we're not seeing you know what do we have from ps2 coming back like even in the last 10 years we have gears of war uh for we have destiny we have 
Halo, we have... Are you talking about Xbox? Xbox and other titles that have become... You know, they weren't the original titles for PlayStation or anything. PlayStation's original title was like Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, right. And Spyro. Spyro. They had, Pla- they had Spider-Man for a while was one of their <sighs> big things. Um, and... <sighs> Yes, but two was good. They need to do better at marketing though, because so many people pass it up. Definitely. Yeah, I think so. And that's the problem too. Is like they don't they get the new stuff, but that doesn't is like yeah. I'm sorry, sir. I will find that kid today and challenge him to a battle. Yep. Uh, He played Evil Within. Who did Ace Attorney? I don't remember on the crossover with Ace Attorney. Like I said, and I have played one or two. I don't own Evil Within, so I've only played a little bit, like at a friend's. Was it all right? It was okay. It was pretty good. Like I didn't play enough. Like I need to play more of a game, like more than twenty minutes of a game to get, right. get a gist of it. Um, as far as the tech and the game stuff from Japan, I mean, yeah, they get a ton of stew stuff early. They do, but they but we also get a ton of stuff early as well. Yeah, it's like it, it's just kind of like they have their stuff. We have ours, and we all pretty much yeah. It's like you know, it's like oh, they get all that. So it's like uh, I mean, they get some of the Duke Tech and stuff like, early. Oh, but... they get Final Fantasy first. Nice, yeah, awesome. <laughs> they get the new Nintendo system first. Awesome. Ooh, guess so what? I guess... We barely get it anyway. Yeah, it's so... like I barely get it at all. Awesome. Uh, the other thing being like uh, you know. American See, releases esports is a thing in the 2020 games in Asia. That's another step closer to the Olympic Games, accepting esports phase up. I mean, it is. That's although, pretty crazy. I'm seeing. I wonder how they're going to go with that because the problem with esports being the subjectiveness of the game production company. Yeah, and, and, and they have to it. agree with that. I mean, Tokyo is the next one that's going to host um, the Olympics, so they're already changing up a lot of stuff already. Like, they have anime characters as their ambassadors. Right, but that's they're not gonna, to say that they're going to be... They, like, they, I feel like they push it. for the esports stuff, but who knows if it'll actually go through. It just depends on contracts, negotiations. You know, do they have enough money to fund all that? Have kids passing out everywhere for 48 hours stop playing well. I hope esports get bigger than the States. That's true. <laughs> Uh, and it, yeah, I kind of do and don't like. They've talked about the benefits and non-benefits of esports. I think Tiffany, that um, people have sorry to, to sorry to cut in real quick. She said, "What are you referring to? Esports is cut as uh, League of Legends." Um, I mean, that's not the only one. There's no, no Dota there's, there's many other, of them. Dota's and, and Gears um, has esports, but basically, it's professional, professional gaming. Yep, and the competitive professional gaming usually versus mapping stuff like that. Generally, it's like those kind of Dota's and. Yeah, Small and tons of different ones, and and, and like they've that. been around for now a while. Uh, mostly spearheaded by like games like Dota, COD, and uh, mostly American, American games. America spearheads a lot of media. So yeah, esports and gaming was primarily, even though it's caught on and become like prime, very popular, very China. popular in Asia and China and Korea. Yeah, Korea. Korea is more Dude. than anybody. Like I said, despite they all that, they usually... got a lot of MMOs in Korea too. They do, but they're not the. They're also often the secondary tertiary. Like you get like yeah, it's like not the Destiny most top Soul quiet. and like oh, it's, it's just not, not the, the top it's, quality. Like you said, all of the top played games are made where <laughs> a little championship. Was really CS:GO, good. yeah, CS:GO is another huge one for the competitive. Championship was really good for Halo. Uh, I did catch a little bit of that. Izzy, nice. Halo does, but yeah, like America's very, I mean, popular and and known for starting these media kind of endeavors in like new markets America America we uh, make the money no yeah. that's not always true but that the, and so they are often pioneering that kind of stuff and because of that you know and I find it funny even despite that we're still so far behind like we're one of the worst countries in the world yeah, as far as esports really but it's because we respect our other sports much more whereas that's very not true we're, we don't heavily advertise like go after esports you know CSGO is Phase huge just won the CSGO. Nice. Go oh. good documentary on Netflix for esports. Nice. Dope. CSGO is huge too. Nice. And then I was thinking maybe we start wrapping up here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're getting kind of close. Close to the end of the rope, guys, for this for this episode. Yep, so I think we'll ask if you guys have any questions and then we'll go to our little you know, spiel. Does anybody have any questions? Anything they anything else that they want us to bring up? I'll check out the documentary. Thanks for the recommendation. Yeah, check it out, Tiffany. The esports community is like a whole big deal. Huge thing. Uh, Twitch is the best place to check that out. 
in my opinion. Yep. Uh, YouTube's okay, but Twitch is like Twitch the hub. Is the best. Yeah. yeah, it's the best. Uh, the the best. secondary place being a Zubu if you're into the Korean stuff. Uh, although out, now right? the number one league team SKT has switched from Twitch Azubu to Twitch for con- because of contract negotiations, so that'll be interesting. Uh, we'll do one more thing, I guess, before we say I mean, we have this print up for everyone who comments, likes, and shares. You know, thank you again for Frankie Sienna. You guys should start a YouTube channel. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah we've heard that. We, so we, we do we have, have one, but on we it. need to get some more video content. Yeah, uh, we're just it's a lot of stuff going on in our personal endeavors too, and that. Mm-hmm. Making it to the podcast on Thursdays is sometimes a challenge. <laughs> nice. Look, good show from Izzy there. Thank, Thank you, Izzy. Do reaction stuff next time. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to start coming over in like 20, Izzy, I'll be here. Uh, we'll, we'll be done in about 20 or so. So, yep. Next All time, right, maybe guys. the Scorpio don't know much about. The oh, the, the new PlayStation. The PlayStation oh, Scorpio. Yeah, yeah. I think that's because it's still. We're still getting more stuff on the Scorpio and information, but we'll, we'll do try to do more. Yeah, we'll try, try to, to do talk. some more game stuff as well. Uh, like, and like we I said, while I'm out in New York, I'll try to do more memes for you guys and stuff because I'll be I might not make it for a cast or two depending on how. Yeah, this guys, goes. We'll, and I'll, we'll get you guys some updates on what's gonna happen with the next episode. Next might couple be. episodes might just so, be me solo. Might have a guest. Who knows? You know, we're just gonna go through some logistics and we'll get you some updates pretty soon here. Yep. Um, until then, I think uh, my recommendations for these are going to be the original 2015 Guardians of the Galaxy number oh, one. Okay, you want to take mine then? Yeah, I'm still. That's like it. the newest. That's like the newer team that you're talking about, though. Right? Yeah, yeah. Katie like Pride. Um, that's actually a really well-rounded team with Rocket as lead. It's very it's interesting. Really you got cool. Rocket, Kitty, I think Ben Grimm, ben, yeah, you and got, then uh, uh, Venom as Flash Thompson. Oh, and you saw Drax. And Drax. Drax, Drax the Destroyer and Groot. Uh, and I think Gamora is gone to join Gamora, the Cosmic yeah. Defenders or whatever. Yeah. Right? <laughs> They're trying to beat Thanos or whatever. Yeah, it's total. To. Uh, oh my goodness, Thanos number five. Or six, six now. yeah, just yeah, came oh out with god. the oh my god! And I thought Those that was a, it was such, like, a oh ending, such a good ending though. It was such a good ending. Yeah, it was. Um, do we have anything else we want to cover? Great, great show. Good job, guys. Job, mate. Thanks, Elijah. Hey, and thank thanks, you for everybody. Coming through everybody. We'll who definitely see watched. you guys next week. It might just be me, but it might also be me and Axel or me and a guest. Yep, we'll, we'll let see. you guys know. We'll see. But definitely next week, Thursday. Uh, and like I said, in the future, we might change times. But for now, just keep looking out for the same time and day, and we'll let you know. Yep. Good night, everyone. Take care, and we'll, we'll see you next week for another episode of Comic Convos. May the 4th be with us. May the 4th be with us.